Creating a yes or no game is as easy as writing or uploading what you want to appear in the cards. You can also give a title to Ray, your assistant powered by artificial intelligence, and let it do the work for you. Players answer yes or no, sliding the card to the sides or pressing the button. If you want a plus of excitement, you can set a time limit for each question or a maximum number of lives. Let's go! First step, click New Activity, choose Yes or No, and register or log in if you haven't done so yet. Once inside the editor, the easiest way to start creating your Yes or No game is giving Ray a title so it creates it for you. Thanks to the artificial intelligence, Ray will create cards with questions about the text you have provided and will leave the game ready for you to publish after you add, remove or change whatever you want. You can also give Ray a piece of text to create the yes or no game from its content. If you want to create the game manually, insert the text, pictures or audios claro. you want to show in your cards. You can also create a card that combines a text with an audio or a picture. Place the question in the card or in the title or even in the heading, a text that appears between the title and the card. Choose if the correct answer for the question is yes, no or both. This last option is useful if you want to use the game as a poll or as a personality test, for example. And that's all you need to create a yes or no manually. Go to the info tab, make sure you fill the title and the description, and press the publish button. Share the game with your players, sending them the link, or any way you prefer. They will just have to click on the start button after identifying themselves if you need it. In the options tab, you have lives, time, and shuffle cards. Turn on the first one if you want to set a maximum number of mistakes players can make before the game ends. You can also set a time limit to answer each question in seconds. Switch shuffle cards if you want them to appear in random order. With any advanced academic or commercial plan, you can use advanced options such as setting a background image, setting the game as private, showing a message when players pass the activity or not showing them the correct answers when they finish. If you have a commercial plan, you can also customize the game with your logos and your corporate colors. You are almost there. Next, go to the information tab where you can change the language of the activity interface and write the title and description. If you want, you can also choose where the activity is located in your educational system. You can also tag your activity to make it easier to classify. You can separate your tags with commas or pressing enter. When your activity is ready to be published, you'll just have to click the publish button. Once your activity is published, a screen will appear from which you can do many things. You can keep on creating activities. You can check the one you just created. You can get the link to share it. You can publish it in Google Classroom or other platforms. You can create a challenge with it, or you can keep on editing it. You can do all of this whenever you want. Just go to your profile and click the buttons below the activity.